Hello folks, welcome to Fishing Live. This week I'm at the lovely Alders Farm Fishery, not too far from Milton Keynes in Bedfordshire. And I'm with a great friend of mine and a crack commercial angler, though he's very modest, the most modest man I know, and that's <laughs> Trevor Price. And I thought, to be a bit different this week, rather than having to listen to me waffle on while I'm fishing, we'd actually tune in with Fishing Live to the last part of a filming day we've done with Trevor. It's got harder as the day's gone on. We caught a load of fish earlier, but this afternoon has been tough. I'm going to say, Trev, we've got six minutes to catch a fish. What do you reckon? Uh, it's got colder. Uh, there's nothing really showing, and we're not getting any indications. However, you never know we're fishing. It's, it's within a second it can change. So let's just hope that this changes. We've got that light dropping. It's going a bit darker. It's getting a bit colder though, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, it's been a, a very chilly day, uh, but very enjoyable. You've had to work very hard to get the bites that we've had, but made lots of changes. Lots. Uh, you'll probably have to watch the film later on. Oh, we'll definitely what, have to watch it. We can't give what, too much away, no, can we? Uh, we'll see what changes we've made. Uh, uh, but the, the best combination is what we've got on at the moment. Uh, and so if we're going to catch a fish, I'm confident that we'll catch on that particular bait that we're out on there now. Absolutely. One thing I've really learned today about how you fish, and again, we can't give too much away, but it's how often and how quickly you've changed things. Now, obviously you, you know, you, well, at this venue, you know, and, and generally you, you, you do really, really well. Do, do you think that that regularity and, and speed of changing is, is the key to your success? Well, if you look at some of the really great uh, pole anglers, uh, you can, you know, people like Mark Pollard and, and, and how they've grown up and when they're fishing the pole and the amount of changes they do to their rigs. So bait's no different. So uh, they'll come in, they'll change the depth, they'll change the shot. So bait's no different. If you've, if you've cast out and you've had no indications, why stick to the same thing? Make that change. But don't be lazy. Make the change. Because it, it could result in that one fish. And if you're fishing a competition and that one fish gets you over the line, that's that, that quick decision of not... Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. That was that, that line, do you think? A little plot? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's, that, it's that one decision that... that, that don't don't go home with the regrets. I wish I'd have done that. I wish I'd have done this. Make it happen. And then if it doesn't work, at least you can say, I've had a go. And it's and, and today we've made many changes and all of them in fairness have resulted in either a couple of quick fish, a, a bite, we've lost a couple. Uh, so just make the changes. That's, that's the only thing that I would say. As my great friend Gary Thorpe says to me, if you think it, do it and it's weird you know you talk about great anglers and carrying that motto i heard that first off alan scothorn he was the man who said to me years ago if you think it do it and i remember reading a feature that uh, with him about six months after that you know he'd said the same thinking and uh, yeah it's it, it's great advice so while trev's fishing and while he's hopefully uh. after that liner gonna catch me a large carp i'll give you this weekend's fishing forecast because Looking at the weather, unfortunately, it's going to be fairly cold. Settled though, so not all bad news. It's six, seven degrees daytime temperature, nighttime temperatures between one and three degrees. So we're not plummeting into minus numbers like we were last weekend. I'm actually going to put a little cutaway now of me loading the van to go fishing last weekend on Saturday. I went to Aston Park. It was very difficult, as you can see, absolutely freezing. So the good news is there's none of that to follow. Um, but I do think it'll be fairly difficult. So, in terms of river fishing this weekend, because it's been cold, but because it's been settled, I think you can expect some small fish success, as long as you head to the right areas. I've been saying for the last couple of weeks, that it's even more apparent now we've had that real cold snap. Location's everything when it comes to small fish fishing on rivers at this time of year. Make sure you head to somewhere built up, preferably that you know has got a bit of form, so we know that fish head into built up areas. You know, a lot of the uh, villages on the River Saw are very good this time of year. Places like Kegworth, um, Mount Sorrel, 
places like that on that river but that's the same right across the country i talked last week about hereford on the y and march on the old neen so don't be afraid about heading to them built up areas if it's canal fishing that you're looking to do again i'd say the same advice applies because it's cool and because it's settled the fish will now be properly in them winter haunts tactics wise just take it really steady with the feed don't overdo it i'd definitely take a fair bit of bait with you because you could well have a bumper session small fish will feed quite comfortably in the temperatures we've got this weekend but take it with you feel your way into the day and go from there commercial fishing i want to bring trevin on this one what do you think, Trev, this weekend? It'll be quite difficult up down the country, I expect. I think so. I think, again, it's going to be fish location. Uh, but what I would say, uh, uh, the advice I give, we had a, a, a situation on Sunday, particularly difficult in our winter league, and we had a, an angler called Steve Waters who fished a very, very tidy match, and managed to not only Ooh. and we're in oh, oh. i tell you what they call you the postman for a reason don't they oh, oh. you cannot bless <laughs> have, have, have we they call you the postman because you always deliver that's just the, the truth of that <laughs> and that's that's on the uh that that that's been the the, the favoured bait today. The pink neons. It, it's just the favoured bait. And the, another day it'll be yellows, and whites, oranges. But today, unbelievable, isn't it? Well, that was uh, that's brilliant. And it just goes to show as well. You know, Even, all day you've been playing with length of times for for casts and different things. And yeah. you know, you talked earlier about a five minute cast till you find out what's happening. That one's been in what about about six minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, it's it's. I think, I think, again, it, it, I, can't, I can't stress enough, you make those changes. You know, we, we went through a period of time with no indications at all. Yeah. And then we made that change again and it's worked. Yeah. So, um, but oh, going back before, it's just before that fortunately was interrupted by this wonderful fish. Uh, yeah, Steve... Uh, waters was fishing and he wasn't expecting to catch too much yeah and he's managed to win the lake and and it, he's just made the changes fished different areas of his peg and uh, so i wouldn't give up <laughs> i certainly wouldn't go to if, if you're fishing a match and you've drawn a bad what you can perceive to be a bad peg it may not be that bad no. so don't give up on it but generally would you say you know taking it steady with the feed um, yeah. But working hard and, and rotating the baits and yes. moving around a lot is the key to making things happen. 100%. And remember, do not be afraid to make changes. And do you know, I've had great success. You've seen it today. I'm not going to give too much away, but fishing these little micros yeah. on a band. A, a micro pellet on a band, not a band, on a, sorry, on a, a bayonet. Spikes, yeah. yeah. Now, if you'd said that to people, they'd probably not believe you. But you've seen it, you've, you've witnessed it, you've filmed but it. But we said we weren't giving anything away. Oh. You've, you've given it away. Yeah, but let's let's be fair. There's more to come than that. Oh, there's a lot. There's more There's a come. lot more to come in that video. You're right. Folks, you'll really, really enjoy this. Loads of carp like this one. I can't quite believe we managed one right at the, the <laughs> death of our Facebook Live, but there you have it. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Trev, do you want to hold that one up for us? I'm, I'm shaking. Uh, I'm so cold, but yes, I will. I'll, I'll, uh... Well, that's the last fish of the day. We can go and have a cup of tea now, mate. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the last Look one. Look at that, folks. If you're heading on the bank this weekend, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. And I'm sorry I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs>